Um, you're just you're going to be performing in just a couple hours. Yes. Do you have any pre-show rituals or routines that you do to get ready? Me and my team always pray. Uh, I I do lots of push-ups and jumping jacks. Um, <laughs> warm up my voice for about half an hour uh, before each show. Um, I love listening to music. It really just uh, calms me down and um, relaxes me, I guess, before the show. And uh, I pretty much I don't like to do much before the show. Like I just like to hang out like, in the room. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Do you get nervous at all? Do you get stage fright? No. Well, yes, I do. <laughs> I not not like not seriously though. Like I I definitely I definitely get nervous, but I know that everyone's out there to see to see me. They know all the words of the songs, and I'm I pretty much I pretty much I just do the best I can, and it always turns out great. So I'm good. Awesome. Do you have advice for kids that love music but are really nervous about performing? Um, I feel like being nervous is something that it only it only lasts until you actually get that out there and do it. Like mm -hmm. once you do it, it's like you know going on a roller coaster at, at mm -hmm. a theme park. It's almost like you don't want to do it, and then after you do, after you've ridden the roller coaster, you want to do it again and again. And um, that's pretty much the same thing with music. Like once once you've been out there on stage and once you perform. You want to do it again and again so it's just like take that first opportunity awesome yeah. so being on tour you're performing the same songs kind of night after night what do you do to keep them fresh and fun um well every night is a different crowd you're in a different city so i feel like um the energy is always different um in the building and so it's it's always a new experience every night awesome yeah is there one song in your set list that you really look forward to performing every night uh not just you um, there's a song called Not Just You that I perform. Um, it's going to be on the album. It's actually it's a love song. Um, it's a ballad that that's on the album. And uh, I actually bring a girl up on stage for the song, and it's um, kind of serenader, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so that one's that one's always a fun one. Everyone everyone goes crazy for that. Yeah. So I'm sure all your fans want to know if they're in the audience, of, you know, of one of your shows. How does she get picked to be the one on? Stage? Um, it's usually pre-picked. Like sometimes, oh, really? sometimes we'll. Uh, a radio station might uh, have a contest on mm -hmm. who gets to come up, or, or she, if she's in VIP um, and she's a big fan, I might get her up on stage. Mm -hmm. um, but I've actually done it a few nights where if it's set up properly, then I'll actually uh, go and pick someone personally, mm -hmm. which is, uh, it's pretty much, it's pretty much, you know, if there's someone, they're wearing a t-shirt, they have a sign, uh, if they're, you know, they look like a big fan and uh, excited, then definitely give them the opportunity to come up on stage. Awesome. Yeah. So can you take me through what might be like a typical day on tour? Do you have a routine or is every day kind of different? Every day is different. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's okay. Every day is actually a little different. Like show-wise, um, you're always on a different schedule every day. Like sometimes I'll get up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll get to sleep until 10. Um, <laughs> it's, it's always different. Um, I, so, some days will be much busier than others. Um, some days I won't have to do anything but perform. Mm -hmm. So it's always a different experience, and you're in a different city every day, so it's it's new. Yeah. Is there a stop on the tour that you're really looking forward to? I'm looking forward to going down to Florida. Mm. I haven't been able to spend much time in Florida except for being at the Jingle Ball last mm -hmm. year. Um, so I'm looking forward. We're going down to Miami. We're going to South yeah. Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, and stuff. We're going mm -hmm. to Harry Potter World in Orlando. So I'm I'm super excited for those kind of things. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you're a big Harry Potter mm -hmm. fan. Yes, <laughs> Harry Potter. We we get Harry Potter presents um, from fans and stuff. Grayson oh, really? gets lots because he's he's the big. He's known as a big Harry Potter fan. But I am too, guys. Just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> um. And do you have a funny story maybe that's happened on tour with Grayson so far? We prank each other a lot with silly string. Mm. We are, um, fan, lots of fans give us silly string, so um, I prank Grayson while he's asleep. He'll prank me while he's asleep. It's just a big, we just like have lots of battles. I, I once uh, stuck a poster of myself on the top of his bunk, <laughs> so he didn't, he didn't, he actually didn't um, see it till he woke up. Uh -huh. It freaked him out. Like, crazy. It was hilarious. Then he did it to me and I freaked out too. So he, he gets me back. Uh -huh. yeah. So just the last question, is there something that you've learned um, about Grayson that you didn't know before the tour started? Um, I feel like being on tour with someone, like we're on the same bus, so it's like it's almost a little more personal than 
a, a normal person would like. But um, <laughs> we definitely become great friends, and he's um, he's definitely one of the nicest people in the world. I'm one of the most talented people in the world. Um, he, I've learnt that he's a much bigger Harry Potter fan than I am. Actually, <laughs> he's he's got the wands. He collects the wands. Um, we got Hedwig in the dressing room. Yes. So so it's it's pretty nuts. Yeah. Awesome.